Okay, I'm back. We are now going to Revelation chapter 21. And I just wanted to say, I don't think I explained this good enough. And the reason in uh, chapter 19, verse uh, 18, eating the flesh of the kings and all the people that went against Christ and the saints. Um, this is the these scavengers. These these are the um, all these birds and things to eat the flesh. These are scavengers, and this hurts hurts you uh, your body. You know, it doesn't make you feel good. So. That's what I was trying to say, and I know I kind of went off and saying other, but that's what it is. Mm. So, all right, so Revelation chapter 21 and verse 1. I And I saw a new heaven, it's been rejuvenated, and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first, first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So the whole earth is habitable. Ha you can live on all parts of the earth. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And this is after the great white throne judgment. And these are all the people now who are going to live there. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. So God is going to be living with us. No need for a tabernacle anymore. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. So everybody's been tested and got, got through to the eternity. Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So death is, is done away with, Satan is destroyed, all that is gone, blotted out. And now we get to be back with our Father. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. God loves his children and he just wants them to listen to him. But everybody has free will, so except for a few that have been predestined to do a certain task. But he just, he loves everybody, but he, you know, he doesn't like what you do all the time. And that's why you need forgiveness. But he's, all of this, the first earth age, the catabol with, with Satan's rebellion, destruction of the, that dispensation of time, God had to, he didn't want to destroy that third that went with Satan. So he set up the redemption plan for us to be born of woman out of water into this dispensation of time to choose who we're going to follow. And some will make it at this time that you know, like the 7,000, and then there's others as well that have been changed into their their immortal bodies during um, uh, during the millennium. 
and then there are those that need to be tested during the millennium or after the millennium right before the great white throne judgment but this is to set things back to the way they were to get rid of all evil you know so he that overcometh shall inherit all things and i will be his god and he shall be my son but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And you'll be blotted out forever and ever. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God and her light was like unto the stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high and had twelve gates, and at the, at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, and on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs, the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal and it's like a big cube then and he measured the wall thereof an hundred and forty and four cubits according to the measure of a man that is of the angel and the building of the wall of it was of jasper in the city was pure gold like unto clear glass and the, fountain, the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third shall, uh, chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh crystallite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth Cry so, so press, sorry, the eleventh Jason, the twelfth and Amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it was, as it were transparent glass. It's going to be beautiful. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut, at all by day for there shall be no night there and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie but they which are written in the lamb's book of life so there's not going to be a sun or a moon there's the firmament will be put back around over on the earth um, there'll be no more weather there'll be no more sea um, the nations will have their own place and they'll come in and it's always for some reason be has been separated 
but that's just the way God rolls. Um, so the 12 tribes and then the people that made it um, from the nations will be able to come in and it's just going to be an awesome place and the big reward and who knows what's going to happen in the eternity as far as, you know, God seems, I mean, he can create and make anything he wants. He could make another universe. He could make another kind of people. I mean, we could be out there exploring his creations. Who knows what he's made? He's eternal so hold on hold on to your inheritance because it's going to be worth it